Hello everyone, Max here. I'm still a CU Denver Student Admission Ambassador at the CU Denver Admissions Department. And we're going to talk to you about something that might be a bit more oriented towards um, an undeclared major or someone who's kind of knows what they want to do, but they're not quite too sure and they still want to explore a bit. So we're going to be talking about how to discover the right major for you. And it is important to kind of know what you'd like to do before going into college. Um, but there's nothing really wrong with going into college and um, not quite knowing what you want to do, You're having an idea, but just wanting to explore some stuff. So the first thing I'm going to talk about in terms of that is the Career Center Test. And the Career Center is this really cool department we have at C Denver. It's part of the whole amalgamation of Links Connect, which is the Career Center, Experiential Learning Center, and the Education Abroad Center. Um, but the Career Center helps with anything relating to careers or jobs, of course. And um, specifically um, about majors and identifying what you want to do for a living, they have something called tests. They're um, aptitude tests, and they have three different types of them. And I've done them myself, and they were really helpful. I identified what I wanted to do right after. So I didn't go too into depth with those tests, but um, there's a lot of quality and depth to these tests. So you could really look, delve really deeply into it. So the first of these would be, um, there's no order really, but the um, first of these would just be a career interest test. And this kind of test helps to identify what kind of just career you'd be interested in, um, what subjects you find fascinating, what you could see yourself doing, um, just what really calls to you spiritually, and you know, um, uh, academically. Just what you what you wouldn't mind doing, and another type of test is the skills aptitude test, and it's basically a test that identifies what you're naturally good at, what you know you've noticed you're really you really thrive in academically, what you find yourself studying in your spare time, what you just find yourself getting straight A's in because you're naturally good at it. Um, but it can also demonstrate that you're interested, in it, so you put more studying time into it, and that's just a skills aptitude test. It shows you know hey. Um, you could be really good at these kinds of jobs because you think in this way, your cognition works in this way. So um, you would be good at those kinds of jobs. And the third kind of test, um, which is really interesting in my personal opinion, is a personality test. And this kind of test identifies what sort of personality you have. And more importantly, um, well, that's very important as well. More importantly, what kind of jobs um, best um, work with that kind of personality? Um, so if, um, I believe they use RIASEC, which is a very common way to identify personality in terms of um, jobs and careers and whatnot. So it just identifies things, um, I can't actually remember right now, but just some things like if you're more practical, if you're uh, more musical, um, if you like business, things like that, like different kind of um, aspects of careers. And then once you identify how strong you score in different kinds of aspects of personality, it shows you what best jobs would be for your specific personality. So um, I like that one a lot. I also took that one. And it really just kind of is eye-opening and enlightening and shows you what kind of um, careers would just be good for you in general, really. Um, so those are the three kinds of tests they have at the Career Center. Just wanted to talk about those briefly, and they're super helpful. Um, I believe they're free, although prices, you know, that can always change. I'm not like the representative for that. But when I took them, it was for you to sign up and you take a test before going in. And then you actually meet with a career counselor and they interpret the tests that you took. And it's an actual like, you know, full on career counselor that are paid to help you find out what your passion is really. So just wanted to talk about that. Now I want to talk to you about something else. Um, this is electives. So this is just about taking electives. Um, most majors, if not every single major, maybe uh, like a specific major that's a really specific um, coursework, if you will. But most majors have electives built into their degree plans, which means that you have, you know, time, you have classes that you can use up for electives. And if you don't know what an elective is, it basically just means in a class you elect to take that has um, nothing to do, although it can but it usually has nothing to do with really your major. Um, it's just a class you want to take. So for example, if you're a biology major, you could take an elective in a, in a foreign language you don't really need to take technically. You could take an elective in music or business or anything really. Um, it could also go towards a minor that you might want to think about getting to. You might take put electives towards a minor, which would look good on a resume and um, your degree and whatnot. 
Um, but electives are a great way to explore different kinds of fields of study that you are always curious about, but you never really haven't really dipped your toes in yet. So this is a great way to do that, um, to just kind of um, study those and see what it's really like and see if you might be interested in that um, while you take electives. And the last and final thing we're going to talk about is identifying your end goal. And what that means, and it sounds a little bit vague, but it's really not, and it's really important, is basically um, some of the best advice I wish I knew when I was first becoming a freshman at um, uh, college was really just think about, yes, what you're passionate about, everything as well is really important, what you really want to do, like what you need to do um, uh, that you couldn't help not doing. But also what career you want to have when you're older, like what you want to do for the rest of your life, um, whether it's a therapist or, you know, some kind of scientist or a businessman, woman, whatever it may be, identify what you really want to do and then just work your way back. Think, OK, I want to be a biologist. I want to be a, specifically a molecular biologist. OK, how do I do that? Well, I need to go, I need to get a master's at least for that. Okay, well, how do I get a master's? You need to get a four-year degree in biology to get a master's in, in biology. So you gotta work your way backwards. And then once you do, you identify what you really wanna do, it becomes extremely clear what you need to do here in this um, time, in this moment right now. Um, so those were some ways, hopefully that will help you identify um, if you're undeclared, what kind of major you'd want, even if you do have a major, you could always switch. I personally switched just recently, actually. I did all of this recently. And it always doesn't hurt to really think about, you know what, maybe there's something I could be more passionate about. What's like the true thing I could do for the rest of my life? So hope this video helped you a lot. Um, thanks for watching.